Well, well. Looking for kingly advice, are we? Hmm. For the moment, yes. I've spent my whole life listening to my father's machinations through the walls. I'm a wealth of advice. Just ask me. I know the nobility is unhappy with the Danish throne. What do you believe I should do to make amends? Oh. Well, you've definitely got no hope of overpowering them, and they won't be thrilled that you've decided to take your uncle's place. As you obviously know, the Danish throne is elected, not ascended, and after two failed candidates from your lineage, well, it might be time for a change. Hmm. Uh, but... Hmm. But what? An alliance. It's the only way. Start listening to the nobility, including my father. Ask them what they need and promise to help them achieve it. Most of them simply want their coffers full of gold. If you can make that happen, all this nonsense with Fordenbra will blow over. Hmm. Fascinating. My father and Claudius always had an uneasy relationship with your father and his ilk. But I am not like them. Oh. That's a good thing. Just be smart about it. And be forewarned that if you start to speak with the nobility, you may need to watch for disloyalty within Elsinore. Ooh, that's in bold. After all, some of these courtesans have made their careers trying to keep the nobility stamped down for decades. They'll be rightfully upset if you make nice. My thanks. You've given me much food for thought. Thanks, Lady Brit. Yeah, it was actually very good that I asked Brit, because uh, Fortinbra and the nobility and the people outside of Elsinore are one of the biggest threats to all of us within Elsinore. Anybody else? Like Irma? I don't know. I'm not talking to Quince. Gertrude, maybe? Oh, I gotta, I gotta ask Lady Guildenstern. Hell yes, I do. And then maybe Bernardo? Let's go to Guildenstern. <laughs> oh. A thing is happening. Oh no! Ah, yes. I can do it. Greetings. <laughs> oh, yes. We're full of wonderful advice. Such as always bring a spare meal and never do today what can be delayed indefinitely. Time to interrogate him. Happening right now. Oh, by asking one, I guess I asked both of them. Both the ladies are going there. I guess they are kind of a unit. Why, we've been informed you're looking for a sage's word. <laughs> We're the smartest people we know, so of course we wanted to help. Is it true that you'll be ascending to your uncle's throne? Uh, not just yet, but in the future. God willing, yes. Hamlet. But Hamlet, you've never been the type to sit in a room all day and hand out judgments. It does seem a little out of character. Won't you be bored? Won't you come to hate your duties as soon as you take them up? Hmm. What Gilda is impolitely moving towards is... Invitation, Hamlet, to join us. Come back to Wittenberg with us. Let some other fool run the country. What she means is, you needn't take the crown unless you feel it would truly bring you happiness. Hmm. <laughs> Entertainment is not one of my concerns. This is my country. These are my people. And with my uncle and father gone, Denmark's back is bare, and she has exposed any who would drive a stake through her. <sighs> Hamlet, we know that in light of your uncle's death, you feel a great sense of duty to your country. That is noble-hearted. But you've been through much lately. All of it difficult and straining. It has taken a great toll on you. Yes. 
If this isn't something that will make you happy, is it worth throwing your life away for? Do you want to be king? Weren't you telling us just yesterday how much you wanted to sail away and never return? <sighs> oh, this has been so fast. What I wanted didn't factor into my thinking. Perhaps a man who has the kinds of thoughts I've had isn't the best man to rule Denmark after all. Perhaps my doubts unmake me. Certainly my father never had them. We just want what's best for you, Hamlet, and your happiness. We leave soon. If you care to journey with us, you're more than welcome. You've given me much to think about. Thank you, Rosie. Gilda. Seems like that advice wasn't useful at all. I'm not sure what I expected. Hamlet now believes that it's time to return to Wittenberg. Yeah, that kind of backfired a little bit. Mm. Let's try Bernardo. Hello. Uh. I suspected this day would come, but so soon. There would have been a time when Hamlet and I were equals in our ignorance. But my knowledge of the political sphere has grown these last ten years. Sometimes in ways I wish it hadn't. I've learned some ugly lessons, some unfortunate things about the workings of this world. Goodbye. I'll speak to him and see what golden words I can give him. My lord. I heard you were seeking advice. Is that so? Yes. What can you tell me of ruling, Bernardo? You've proven yourself to be a great strategic commander. I'm sure that sort of scale will become useful in the near future. Hmm. If there's one thing I've learned through my time in this position, it's that one must never show weakness or vulnerability. My father taught me that, and he was the strongest man I knew. Outside of your own father, of course. I don't know if this is great advice, Bernardo. Presently, the Danish nobility has demonstrated quite a threat to your rule. With rumors of spies, wartime treason, and other efforts underfoot, it's time they were quieted once more. Only a show of force will make them acknowledge the true legitimacy of the throne. Oh. Oh no. But don't the nobility possess a greater standing army than ours? What if they go to war with us? <sighs> then we shall fight them and show them we aren't afraid. That's terrible advice. I expected better of Bernardo. Same! If Brit's family is working with Fortinbras against us, then we've no hope of beating the nobles. I wonder if there's anyone who can encourage Hamlet to form an alliance instead. Brit. Anybody other than Brit? Hmm. Probably wouldn't be anyone other than Brit, right? But that's already done. I don't know. Do I want to just throw everybody at this problem? And just see what happens? I feel like I made a good choice by... Well, I definitely made a good choice by... Having Lady Brit give them advice, maybe not Horatio. Horatio was supportive, but also, you know, my brother. Bernardo was terrible. The ladies were terrible. Maybe I should just stick with this and just see what happens. Ah, Laertes has returned. Well, now I'm worried about Hamlet killing them. Discussion with Hamlet is about to happen. Ophelia, the time has come for me to make a decision. How are your first days is Prince-elect gone? Quickly. Frighteningly. I'm not ready to be king. Perhaps no one is, really. My uncle was. He committed a grave sin to achieve it. 
but in the end he was no more fit than any other man. He reached for the crown but could not keep it. Denmark has struggled under his rule, I'm told. The situation is worse than I thought. We have to fix things, Ophelia. It's going to be a long path forward. All that assuming the nobility will elect me to the position, of course. Hmm. You know, I realized something today. As I contemplated all these decisions before me, I thought to myself, what would Ophelia say of this? I need you by my side if we're to bring great things to this country. Without you, I'm nothing. Hamlet. <laughs> I've even less experience than you do at managing affairs of state. Yes. But you understand people, the way they think, what they love and fear most. And you understand how to fix people, too. You understand that healing is more powerful than destroying. That's something Claudius never understood. He saw power and reached for it without understanding that power obtained through fear is fragile. Hmm. Then let's establish a new way. Tell me, what have you decided? How will you rule? Rose and Krenz. Rosie and Gilda told I ought to think of myself. They want to return to Wittenberg and for me to join them. What? Wittenberg? At a time like this? I... I must admit, I found something tempting in the notion. Many prince-elects have gone abroad in a time of mourning. It would only be a short stay. Please. That's foolish. You know how foolish that would be. How can you even consider it? Of course. You're right. Of course you're right. Forget I even raised the subject. It was just a fleeting notion. My first matter of concern was to understand where the biggest threat to the throne of Denmark lies. I know that the Danish nobility are deeply unhappy at the present moment. As Claudius largely ignored them, their fealty trended towards Norway's growing power. Now they're borderline treasonous. However, the advice I received surprised me. It became clear to me that the biggest threat is truly within my own court. I now believe the nobility can wait. My first order of business will be to provide clarity and peace here. That peace shall come soon. Hmm. I do need them to believe the biggest threat is outside, don't I? Because it is, isn't it? Fortinbra? The second matter of concern is, predictably, understanding who will rule beside me. When the world thought me just a mad prince, it wasn't a popular topic. But once you inherit a crown, everyone looks at you like you're a piece of meat. In short, I must make a proposal. Being with you again has made me happier than I ever thought possible in a time like this. Listen. I must admit I found myself dwelling on what I'd say to you now. But now that we're here, the speech is failing me. Hmm. I have an idea. It's a lovely night for a walk, don't you think? Would you accompany me? Lead the way? Of course. Of course we'd end up here. What? Is something wrong? We can go elsewhere if you like. <laughs> no. Um, we- I do remember having this conversation before. Yeah, they're gonna eventually propose to me. Let's skip to that part. Oh. Agree to marry Hamlet. Yes. Hamlet no longer believes that it's time to return to Wittenberg. Good. The feeling he learns about a future event in which Hamlet deals with internal affairs. I'm scared about what that means. <laughs> Surely Hamlet would not still kill my brother if they've just asked for my hand in marriage. Surely. I will. Oh, hmm. Hamlet dealing with internal affairs, which is happening very soon, is between Hamlet and Laertes. Uh... Hmm. Ophelia. Laertes. 
What is all of this? <clears throat> what the hell is this? Thank you all for gathering here tonight. All of you are faithful to your respective lords. But I have a new request of you. <sighs> of course, I wouldn't call you unless I had a desperate message for the men you serve. Soon, all of them will be called to elect the next king of Denmark. No more. My request is simple. I beseech them not to elect Hamlet, no matter what transpires. Although Hamlet may be his father's son, I urge you to consider the cost this family has had upon our nation. Bloodiness begets bloodiness. Death begets death. Rise up. Shall we wager our country upon the fruit newly born off that poison tree? Or shall we rise up and declare a new, prosperous direction of our own making? Greetings! A most welcome return and a good evening, Laertes. And to you, Ophelia. Mm. He found us? How? Hamlet! What's this about? Ugh. I could ask you the same, couldn't I? All this after you professed to love me. Of course I'd be a fool to make you choose between me and your family, or to suggest your loyalty was tied to me alone. A look before you. Your brother was rallying my own people against me. All this because, of course, he desires to sit the throne himself. Laertes. I cannot suffer one I do not trust at my court. I know you'd come after me sooner or later. And just like his uncle, he means to have me killed, I'm certain. Spirit me off into the night as though I was never here. No. Denmark will be different this time. I'm not a man who desires that blood be spilled. I need you gone, not dead. That would have been my uncle's way. Mm. So here's what I offer. Banishment. Leave Denmark. Never return and never write to your sister again. I will leave you in peace as long as we both live. But should you return, Ugh. I'll have you quartered before the entire court. Bastard. Never speak to Ophelia again? Leave everything in Elsinore behind? Would that you'd merely killed me. This is the end of my life. How can I be certain you'd keep my father safe? I shan't. Your father will go with you. The both of you shall remain in exile until your dying breath. Please. And what of my sister? I love Ophelia more fiercely than anyone in this world. I would rather die than allow her to suffer. That's why, once you've gone, you must not contact her. If you maintain a correspondence, she'll only want to join you all the more, and that will never come to pass. And I need her here, with me, on the throne, with her mind fully focused on ruling our country. God, I hate Hamlet. I... Hamlet, surely that cannot be necessary. Look. I'm sparing his life. That's generosity enough. Your father's old estate awaits you on the borderland to the south. The estate is barren, but the land is fertile and warm in the winters. You will be well cared for, but you will not be permitted to leave that estate, nor have correspondence with anyone outside its walls. And you must be gone before dawn. Make haste, Laertes. I failed you. I'm sorry. Don't do this. There must be another way. Isn't there any way you can be convinced? No. Not this time. Let's go. Escort him to his chambers, and there ensure he takes all that is his. And Lord Polonius as well. He must be gone the very same moment his son departs. Father. 
no. This is how things end in this world? Laertes shatters and will not recover. Learn more about the prince's ambitions. Okay, we advanced a lead. Hamlet lied to me. He told me he wanted to make me happy, to honor me. And now he's gone and banished Laertes and my father, believing them to be threats to his rule. Is this the cost of this world? Become queen but lose my family? What a rotten, horrid trick to play. Even so, they might be happier outside Elsinore, and far safer. Perhaps all is not lost. Yeah, how could you go through with the marriage after this? I figure since they're, uh, Polonius and Laertes are in their chambers, and they're being banished, I should go see them. Huh, father locked his door. That's unlike him. What are they doing in there? There's a knife there, and they're just kind of staring at it. I've got a bad feeling about that. Laertes locked his door. I guess he wants his privacy. Okay. Can I, like, talk to him through the door? What can I even say? Nothing, really? What's wrong with Hamlet? Wait, what? Father. If it... The door's unlocked for me if I try to talk to him? This is just some nothing about Hamlet, this conversation. That's, I'm just going to ignore that. Now we're... Now it's locked. Yeah, that's definitely not supposed to happen. That's weird. Woohoo! Of course, Bernardo wants to meet with me. Woohoo! <laughs> Are you actually going to do it? Pro probably not. Don't. Impossible event, Bernardo questions father. Yeah. I'm not supposed to be in here. This doesn't accomplish anything, right? Being in here? They need to be out before dawn, right? So they're gonna disappear in just a minute? Still there. This is Sunday, by the way. This is the last day. Oh. Listen. Friends, family. A word, if I may. Hmm. Some of you have offered invaluable advice to me over the last few days. For your assistance, I hold you dearly in my hearts, and highly in my regard. Some of the best advice I received was of matters concerning the heart. My love. I love Ophelia. I have loved her since we were children. And now she has agreed to take my hand and become my wife, and someday your queen. How can Hamlet be so, like, starry-eyed and you really think everything's okay between us, Hamlet? Oh. That, that's wonderful news, Hamlet. Congrats to the both of you. Hmm. Never thought I'd see the day a woman agreed to marry you of her own free will, but if anyone can handle the likes of you, it must be her. Hmm. So they managed to reconcile after all. I suppose that's for the best. What is it? Oh, we just got a flash. Are you alright, my dear? Yes. Y yes, fine. I can already feel something pulling me. This world won't last. It seems as though when things become quiet, the timeline comes to an end. Please. Everyone, we'll prepare a magnificent ceremony for seven days hence. And when we are wed, <laughs> peace will finally come to Denmark. 
now and forevermore. Oh no, here it comes. But I can return here if I need to. I could use the Book of Fates to choose this world forever. Okay, so we got a new ending. Yes. Sacrifice family for legacy. Hamlet will make a good king, with me at his side, that is. Still, this world would cost me my family. The heaviest price at all. The heaviest price at all? That reads very weirdly to me. I think that should be the heaviest price of all. What? Does that complete the lead, the prince's ambition? Or is there more there? Because I could definitely imagine different ways that could go. Uh, not timeline. This. Ah, yeah, it does complete it. Interesting. So I don't know if there'd be any point in trying the different things that I could think of to influence what happens there. Because I don't, like, if the lead is done, then does that mean that anything I could change wouldn't make a major difference to where it leads like for example have different people give hamlet advice don't have horatio give them advice so hamlet doesn't think they need to kill laertes then maybe laertes doesn't get killed or have them have hamlet and laertes reconcile somewhat before the whole election thing happens the missing loot and all that maybe that would also help but if the lead is solved then i don't know if there's any point how are we looking on endings? One, two, three, four. There's four endings I have not achieved. Oh. I just, I did not realize that destroying the book was like a real option. I know that. Ophelia mentioned it in dialogue at one point, but I didn't think it's something I could actually do. You can actually do that. You can just burn the goddamn book. So if I burn the goddamn book, I think what it said during the dialogue when we were talking with the ghost is that it would punish Quince, but it would also doom everybody in this world to... I guess things would just play out as they normally do. But then time would also continue. Meaning, like, half the people in the castle would die. <laughs> or at least half of the important people that I know. Yeah, I don't... I don't think I want to do that. Alright, well, I think this is a good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we are going to pursue some other leads and see if we can unlock those four endings.